last week we went hazelnut picking. So this week on Go Fraser Valley, we thought we'd get back to a more traditional harvest picking at a pumpkin patch. Welcome to Petey's Pumpkin Patch. And thanks for checking out the new Go Fraser Valley. Now later on in this episode, we'll learn more about these pretty pumpkins. And we'll also debut our brand new signature story series inside television. But off the top of the show, we always have the best, right? Well, in this case, we have the worst. That's right, I said worst. The German word for sausage. Now there's many varieties of sausage to make, but that's not the reason one local sausage maker got into the business. He got into it to carry on the tradition of his family. You may eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Sometimes as a main course, sometimes a side dish. But have you ever wondered how sausages are made? Today, we meet a man who has been continuing the family recipe brought down through generations and passed on to him by his father. Actually, I started when I was about two years old helping my dad grind some hamburger through the grinder, uh, sitting on a stool and helping him out. And I've been in the, the business ever since he passed that, his knowledge down to me. I, I learned under him. Although his children play a small role in the business, they just aren't that interested in wholeheartedly continuing the tradition. Mike believes the value of a hard day's work has changed considerably over the years. The younger generation, um, I feel they, they don't seem to work as hard as like my generation did and my father's generation worked even harder to get to the goal that they, you know, that they've got a good profession, that they work hard and, and, and something will come from it. Um, I think the, the, the younger generation now, it just seems like they want everything handed to them. In any venture, support is key, but his wife admits it was not love at first sight. It worked, it worked its way there. <laughs> Well, we first met, uh, we were both 19, and actually what it was, we met uh, at the um, Berlin Club in Vancouver. You know, we just started getting together that way and, uh, and hit it off. It's a long process, but with the right ingredients and the right tools, the final product is simply amazing. That's the most important thing, is starting with good quality ingredients. It's a complete process from start to finish. Um, I still have the old style of uh, smokehouse too, which makes a difference on the flavoring. Uh, it puts a, a nicer smoky flavor onto the sausage, depending on what sausages that I'm making that some might need, uh, like what we call double smoking. So we smoke them again the next day just to, uh, um, just to give it a little bit darker appearance. A lot of his product is specially ordered by merchants outside of the community. The rest are sold in his deli. I've actually started making more of my own sausages um, in store here um, because of the fact that customers were asking for low nitrate and low salt sausages and um, I wasn't able to get them from my suppliers. In Chilliwack, I'm Tim Morton for Go Fraser Valley.